Welcome back, I am The Executioner, and today we're going to be reviewing the book Defending the Undefendable by Walter Block. Defending the Undefendable is a very provocative book by Walter Block, and essentially it goes over some unconventional arguments in regards to libertarianism. So, Defending the Undefendable basically goes over a few industries, trades, topics such as free speech, drug abuse, etc., and it goes over it in such a way to present the people who are usually viewed as villains in society as really heroes. So it goes over the heroin dealer, the pimp, the prostitute, the gypsy cab driver, etc. I've been listening to it on audiobook, and I have to say, Walter Block is a very brilliant libertarian thinker, and I had heard him speak a number of times. It was over at the Austrian Economic Server, along with the interview uh, done by Nate the Voluntarist, along with a couple other lectures. And may I say that he is absolutely very entertaining, brilliant, witty, and he has a way about him that really translates into paper the book Defending the Undefendable is an amazing book. It goes over the unconventional arguments of libertarianism, and it definitely makes you kind of question things. And even if you agree with the positions, they are such interesting arguments that really are thought-provoking. So in regards to free speech, he goes over blackmail, he goes over libel, for example, and he goes over one of my favorites would be advertising. Now, leftists try to claim that advertising is evil and that we need informational advertising, that the information should just be there and in objective information, and we should not try to have motivational advertising. Now, the problem Walter Block kind of points out is that all advertisement is intertwined with both motivational and informational, is that you have to present the information in such a way that it's, number one, entertaining, two, it's not going to bore the audience to death, and three, we always package ourselves in such a way that we are constantly advertising ourselves, uh, be it when we're younger by our parents or when we're older trying to get into a college getting a job, etc., a resume, which is really just an advertisement. So I think this book is absolutely amazing. I would rate it 5 out of 5. I have read it so far, and I am absolutely intrigued by it, and I absolutely love the book. And you can actually get the audiobook over at the Macy's Institute and May I say that the audiobook is absolutely brilliant. You can buy the audiobook, of course, if you want to support Walter. And you can buy it at the Mises Institute as well. I'll have the Audible link and the Amazon link along with the Mises link. But may I say this book is a breath of fresh air, and for me anyways. And I am definitely glad I discovered this book. This book was published in... Uh, the 1970s, I believe, or 1980s, and I think that it is definitely one of those underrated books, and every libertarian should read this book. Hope you guys have a wonderful week, have a wonderful weekend, and remember that Tetris came from the Soviet Union.